Hello and welcome to the game room. Um, I thought I would do a bit of a midweek game update and show you some of the things that I've grabbed. Take my glasses off, sorry first. I thought I'd do a bit of an update and show you some things that I've grabbed since last Sunday. So this is over the past four days. I'm recording this on a Thursday. Uh, I've got a couple of things this week that I've grabbed. You can tell it's payday. Um, and I'll show you what I've picked up really over the past four days. It's not the most exciting stuff in the world, but there's one or two things in here that I'll show that are worthwhile. Um, I grabbed two issues of Retro Gamer. I made a video yesterday on this. I'm a massive, massive Retro Gamer fan. This is an old issue. This is issue 167. Um, and it's an issue all focused around Mario Kart. And it's all kind of the background of the game Mario Kart and how it came about and how it's based on a series of other um, SNES and NES games. And it's just an interview with some of the creators. Um, fantastic issue. I've read about half of it. Hopefully going to read the next bits in a couple of days. The bit that's annoying about this though is that game, where I got this from, stick, a bunch of stickers all over it, which is really annoying. Uh, second thing I grabbed is this month's issue of Retro Gamer. I've just grabbed this. If you can see these anywhere, grab them. They're amazing. I'm really, really getting into these and I'm desperate to build up a bit of a collection of them. I've only got about four or five at the moment, as you can see from a video I uploaded yesterday. Right, on to a couple of games that I've grabbed. First thing I grabbed is a bit of trade bait. If you see these out and about, don't tell me what, don't tell me why, but they're worth quite a bit in trading credit. I grabbed Just Dance Disney Party. They trade in for about a ten or so to CEX, which is a second hand trade store here in the UK. So I'm desperate to add some PS Vita games. So what I'll do is trade that in and I've got a particular Lego game I've got in mind. Lego I think it's Chima, Lego Chima, which trades in for eight. So I'll probably grab that with the trade credit. So that's great. Effectively, I've got a beta game for two quid. So brilliant. Chuff with that. First, one of the first things I grabbed during the week was I went to a charity shop and I grabbed two Nintendo DS games, which are pretty cool games. Uh, they're both compilation uh, carts. I grabbed Namco, Namco Museum, which I paid two pound for, which is the US edition. You know, it's the US edition because it's got that thin sleeve. It's also got collar on the outside of the sleeve. I grab just a random game off the shelf. You can sort of see the difference look between the UK and the US edition. The UK editions are a lot thicker and they're just white, really. But the good thing about the DS is that it, DS lights will play carts from any region. So that'll play on there. There's a bunch of really good Namco games on here. You've got Galaga, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Xavius, um, Mappies on here, Tower of Duraga, Pac-Man Versus on here. So so really good. Excellent compilation disc. Um, next thing I grabbed was another compilation disc. This time it's a UK version. It's Atari Greatest Hits. And there's quite a few really, really good games on here. So I'm desperate to sort of play this for the next couple of days. There's a bunch of Atari 2600 games on here. And I don't have anything that can play Atari games in my collection. So this is the first time, really, that I'm going to play some Atari games. I've never really played many. So I'm desperate to get my hands on some and have a go. Because I've never, ever played on a 2600. I tell you, I have it at conventions. But outside of conventions, I've never had an opportunity to play on Atari stuff, so I'm hoping this will be decent. It'll give me an opportunity to have a go on one without spending a fortune on eBay. The last thing I got was a box-only edition. My wife groaned at me when I did this, but I'm a sucker for anything Pokemon. I can't help it. I grabbed Pokemon Crystal version for the 3DS. This is just the box. There's no cart with it. It just comes with a download code. But I'm a whore for anything Pokemon, I'm afraid, so... That will sit proudly on my collection. I grabbed that for eight from Very, the UK. Uh, sorry, both of those, I can't remember if I did say the price, both of those were two pound each from a Surada charity shop. So really pleased with both of those. So yeah, that's my pickups really. Sorry it's a bit of a small one, but it's sort of a bit of a midweek update of what I've been up to during the week. Um, during, on Saturday, I think my wife and I are heading to another car boot. So what I will do is we will upload some footage on Saturday of the car boot. And I'll also upload a pickups video from there because the good thing about this car boot that we're going to on Saturday is that sellers aren't allowed until, oh, so buyers aren't allowed until 11 o'clock. So we'll get hopefully early access to a lot of games. So really, really good. Um, and I'll hopefully sell a bit and have a bit of money for trades because I'm desperate to grab some PS Vita stuff. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll upload an up, I'll give you an update in the next couple of days how we get on at the car boot. Thank you very much.